Gateshead Council Adult Learning and Skills are committed to equality and diversity. We strive to ensure every learner has equal outcomes. We are committed to ensuring the makeup of Gateshead learners reflects the social and cultural diversity of the Gateshead community. We are committed to targeting those people and communities who are most disadvantaged. We will promote equality and diversity in our policies and our procedures. We ensure that all learners are protected from harassment, bullying and discrimination. We will not discriminate on the grounds of gender, marital status, employment, responsibility for dependents, religion or religious beliefs, race or national origin, age, class or sexual orientation. We believe in equal outcomes and equal treatments. Raising awareness. So, what do we mean by equality and diversity? Well, to answer this question, let's first think of the words individually. So, what do we mean by diversity? Diversity refers to understanding, valuing, respecting and embracing differences. Seeing people as individuals rather than members of a group. To quote Gallagher in 1991, diversity refers to much more than skin colour and gender. It encompasses age, race, religious affiliation, economic class and sexual orientation. OK, so what do we mean by equality? What is equal opportunities? This is driven by legislation and focuses on specific groups of people or minority groups. The words equality and diversity are often used together. Many people think that equality is about treating people the same. It's not about treating all people the same, but ensuring that everyone has the same chances. We are committed to ensuring that everyone has the same rights throughout all aspects of their life. To do this, the differing needs of individuals must be considered, and by so doing, true equality and diversity will be achieved. For adult learning and skills, it is about supporting and enhancing the learning opportunities within the Gateshead community. It is about maximising the potential of all learners to ensure they have a more inclusive learning experience. Now we're clear on the meanings, how can we best manage diversity? In society, cultural diversity has produced a vibrant and flourishing culture in cuisine, music, design and fashion. Organisations that embrace diversity report that they are able to harness the creative energies of their workforce. Recognising and valuing diversity results in attracting the best and brightest employees to an organisation. Personal values. So, diversity is about being different. And people within any workplace, organisation or learning venue have various characteristics that combine to make them unique. Think about the following. Appearance. Age. Gender. Religion, culture and belief. Ethnicity or place of origin. Health. Disability. Mental health class or background. Think about you. Create a personal profile using these characteristics. How could your unique profile contribute to a diverse team? Values and beliefs. Individuals have their own preference regarding, for example, how they are addressed. You can't assume that everyone wishes to be called by their first name. Some people might find this over familiar especially if age or cultural differences are present. It is polite to ask people how they prefer to be addressed and use this when you communicate with them. People have beliefs and preferences that influence all aspects of their daily life. Individuals form beliefs about what is right and wrong, 
we call this morals, and these affect the way they live in different ways. Personal beliefs include moral values, dress, food and diet, religious beliefs, family life, social customs, political beliefs. Stereotyping, prejudice, discrimination and harassment. When differences and diversity are not respected and valued, then behaviour of individuals can lead to stereotyping, prejudice, discrimination and harassment. What is stereotyping? Stereotyping is standardising an idea and associating it with a group of people. For example, all women are bad drivers, teenagers listen to loud music, or perhaps men can only do one thing at a time. What is prejudice? Prejudice is when ideas and feelings about people are held. These feelings are often based on stereotypes. What is discrimination? Discrimination is the unfair treatment of a person or a group on the basis of prejudice. What is harassment? Harassment occurs when a person or a group of people is targeted based on stereotype or as a result of prejudice or discrimination. Attitudes that lead to discrimination and inequality in the workplace or learning can include I don't see a problem. It's not my business. Everyone does it. It must be okay. If it bothered anyone, they would do something about it themselves. I'm not sure what I can do about it. It's not up to me. I don't have the responsibility. Thank you.